VLOOKUP tables in spreadsheets. What are they? Well, this is a classic video from a few years back and I'm giving it a reboot, so let's check it out. So this activity is to teach you how to use the VLOOKUP function amongst other things. So this is a McDonald's staff payroll. It's not real obviously, there's my little disclaimer down the bottom. Uh, it's all fictitious data. But uh, anyway, so the first thing you want to do is you want to set up this table here. You can add in this if you want to. I happen to have this first six rows frozen, I'll show you what I mean. So where it says uh, freeze rows. I've got the first six rows frozen, which means that when I scroll, that moves, but the the top piece doesn't. Uh, so you can do that if you want to. Um, this is my VLOOKUP table, which I'll explain more in a minute. Okay, so I've got some names in here. Uh, each one has a position number. So five being the restaurant manager, four being assistant manager, shift manager, crew trainer, and crew member and you can see those up in here. Each position has an hourly rate which is also shown in here and we've got some hours worked by each person and then the corresponding pay. Now let's have a look at each part. So the first part is looking here you can see that um, this is just text that you just fill in so that's a five. This one however you can see here we've got a formula um, and it's using the VLOOKUP function. So let's have a look at that a little bit more closely. C8 refers to the position number. So we're going to compare the position number to something. What we're going to compare it to is after this little comma is this it's called a table array and this is our array up here. So it's a three column array from F1 down to H5 um, the dollar signs are shown there, nothing to do with money or dollars, but it's just to make sure that when we copy this formula down, that the F and the 1 don't change to something else. Same with the H and the 5. We always want that reference to say F1 and H5. So when we copy this formula down, it won't change. And the number 2 represents which column are we looking at to get our result for this part here. And as you can see, we want the second column, first, second, third column. So the information we want to be putting back in here after comparing it to the position number is the position title. So when we fill that all out with the appropriate commas in the right place, so first referring to the cell we're looking up, second after the comma is the array, and then the third thing is which column reference are we referring to. When we hit enter it gives us that result. And copying the formula down the page it gives us the same result. Now the, the value of this is if something in here changes you can change it here and it will filter through here. Especially, especially useful if this is a particularly long list employees and it saves having to fill out restaurant manager, restaurant manager or whatever every time. You might have 30 or 40 crew members here and when you put in a new crew member you only have to put in a number one and it will fill that out. So let's demonstrate. If I take that out it has a problem. There's no data. So I put the one in and that becomes crew member. If I put a two in it becomes crew trainer and so on. Okay so that's what that does. Now hourly rate is same sort of thing. We're still looking at the position number, um, C8, let's see, that's 8, and then the same table, same VLOOKUP table, so F1 to H5, which F1 to H5, and this time we're looking at the third column, and these, this here is the actual hourly rate, so that gives us our $42, which corresponds to that. This is particularly useful, again, if, for example, the pay rate changes for the restaurant manager, for example, I can just change that here. Let's just make it $50 an hour, and that will change here. Again, useful if you've got multiple um, copies of the same position. 
Um, so in this case, particularly useful if it's the crew member because we've got a few of those. So three, instead of having to change that, or four of those, sorry, instead of having to change each one of them, I can just change it in the, the table at the top and it affects all their pay, or their hourly rate. In this column, we've got the hours worked, which is just a plain old number. And in here, we've got weekly pay, which is another formula. To work that out, it is simply the hourly rate multiplied by the hours worked, E8 times F8. And then that formula gets copied down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Okay, that's it. Good luck. So if you found that useful, maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe.